Ancient Semitic religion encompasses the polytheistic religions of the Semitic peoples from the ancient Near East and Northeast Africa. Since the term Semitic itself represents a rough category when referring to cultures, as opposed to languages, the definitive bounds of the term, ancient Semitic religion, are only approximate. Semitic traditions and their pantheons fall into regional categories, Canaanite religions of the Levant, the Sumerian tradition inspired Assyro-Babylonian religion of Mesopotamia, the ancient Hebrew religion of the Israelites, and Arabian polytheism. Semitic polytheism possibly transitioned into Abrahamic monotheism by way of the god El, whose name, El, is a word for God, in Hebrew, cognate to Arabic Allah. Proto-Semitic pantheon Topic. Abbreviations, A.C. Akkadian Babylonian, U.G. Ugaritic, P.P. Phoenician, Ib. Hebrew, R. Arabic, O.S.A. Old South Arabian, Et. Ethiopic I.L.U. God. Sky God, Head of Pantheon, A.C. I.L.U., U.G., Il, P.P. El, Elos, Ib. El, Elohim, R. Allah, Osal. Atiratu, Ilu. S. Wife, Ug, Atrit, Ib. Asera, Osa Turt. The meaning of the name is unknown. She is also called Alatu, Goddess, AC. Alat, pp. Lt, R. Alat. Ataru, God of Fertility, Ug. Tur, Osa Tur, Et, a star sky god. Adertu, goddess of fertility, A.C. I star, U.G., Turt, P.P. Sturt, Astarte, Ib. Astaret. The meaning of the name is unknown and not related to Atiratu. Hadu, Hadadu, storm god, A.C. Adad, U.G., H.D., P.P. Adodos. The meaning of the name is probably, Thunderer. This god is also known as Ba. Lu, husband, lord, A.C. Bel, U G, B. L, P, P, B. L, Bellows, Ib. Ba. Al. Samsu. Sun. Sun goddess, U G. Spriz, O S A, Smes, but A C. Samas is a male god. Warahu. Moon. Moon god, U G, Ur, Ib. Yeria, O S A, Wur. Akkad, Assyria and Babylonia. Topic. When the five planets were identified, they were associated with the sun and moon and connected with the chief gods of the Babylonian pantheon. A bilingual list in the British Museum arranges the sevenfold planetary group in the following order. Sin the moon Shamash the sun Marduk Jupiter Ishtar Venus Ninurta Saturn Nabu Mercury Nergal Mars, the religion of the Assyrian Empire sometimes called Ashurism centered on Ashur, patron deity of the city of Ashur, and Ishtar, patroness of Nineveh. The last positively recorded worship of Ashur and other Assyrian gods dates back to the 3rd century AD. Ashur, the patron deity of the eponymous capital from the Late Bronze Age, was in constant rivalry with the patron deity of Babylon, Marduk. In Assyria, Ashur eventually superseded Marduk, even becoming the husband of Ishtar. The major Assyro-Babylonian and Akkadian gods were Major Assyro-Babylonian demons and heroes were Adapa Oans, Gilgamesh Lugalbanda Lilitu Pazuzu Ninurta Canaan the Canaanite religion was practiced by people living in the ancient Levant throughout the Bronze Age and Iron Age. Until the excavation 1928 onwards of the city of Ras Shamra also known as Ugarit in northern Syria and the discovery of its Bronze Age archive of clay tablet alphabetic cuneiform texts, scholars knew little about Canaanite religious practice. Papyrus seems to have been the preferred writing material for scribes at the time. Unlike the papyrus documents found in Egypt, ancient papyri in the Levant have often simply decayed from exposure to the humid Mediterranean climate. As a result, the accounts in the Bible became the primary sources of information on ancient Canaanite religion. 
Supplementing the biblical accounts, several secondary and tertiary Greek sources have survived, including Lucian of Samosata's treatise De Dia Syria, the Syrian goddess, 2nd century CE, fragments of the Phoenician history of Sanchuniathon as preserved by Philo of Byblos, c. CE, and the writings of Damasius, c. 458 after 538. Recent study of the Ugaritic material has uncovered additional information about the religion, supplemented by inscriptions from the Levant and Telmardic archive excavated in the early 1960s. The Canaanite religion shows the clear influence of Mesopotamian and Egyptian religious practices. Like other peoples of the ancient Near East, the Canaanites were polytheistic, with families typically focusing worship on ancestral household gods and goddesses while acknowledging the existence of other deities such as Baal, Anath, and El. Kings also played an important religious role and in certain ceremonies, such as the sacred marriage of the New Year festival, Canaanites may have revered their kings as gods. According to the pantheon, known in Ugarit as Ilhm Elohim or the children of El compare the biblical sons of God. The creator, called El, fathered the other deities. In the Greek sources he was married to Baruth Beirut, the city. The pantheon was supposedly obtained by Philo of Byblos from Sanchuniathon of Berithus Beirut. The marriage of the deity with the city seems to have biblical parallels with the stories that link Melkert with Tyre, Yahweh with Jerusalem, and Tanit and Baal Hammon with Carthage. El Elyon is mentioned as God Most High in Genesis 14.18-19 as the God whose priest was Melchizedek, king of Salem. Philo states that the union of El Elyon and his consort resulted in the birth of Uranus and Je Greek names for heaven and earth. This closely parallels the opening verse of the Hebrew Bible, Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. In the beginning God Elohim created the heavens Shemayim and the earth. Eretz. It also parallels the story of the Babylonian Anunnaki gods. Topic: <inaudible> Abrahamic religions. Topic: The Enuma Elish has been compared to the Genesis creation narrative. Some writers trace the story of Esther to Babylonian roots. El Elyon also appears in Balaam's story in Numbers and in Moses' song in Deuteronomy 32.8. The Masoretic texts suggest when the Most High Elion divided to the nations their inheritance, he separated the sons of man Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the sons of Israel. Rather than sons of Israel, the Septuagint, the Greek Old Testament, suggests the Angelon Theo, or angels of God, and a few versions even have Weon Theo, sons of God. The Dead Sea Scrolls version of this suggests that there were in fact seventy sons of the Most High God sent to rule over the seventy nations of the earth. This idea of the seventy nations of earth, each ruled over by one of the Elohim sons of God, is also found in Ugaritic texts. The Arslan Tash inscription suggests that each of the seventy sons of El Elyon was bound to their people by a covenant. Thus, Crossan translates See also References Topic Topic Further reading Topic Donald A. McKenzie, Myths of Babylonia and Assyria, nineteen fifteen Muscati, Sabatino, nineteen sixty eight, The World of the Phoenicians, Phoenix Giant Ribicini, Sergio, Beliefs and Religious Life in Muscati Sabatino, 1988, The Phoenicians by L. B. Tories in 2001. Theophilus G. Pinches, The Religion of Babylonia and Assyria, The World Wide School, Seattle, 2000. Van der Torn, Carol, 1995. Dictionary of Deities and Demons in the Bible. New York, E. J. Brill. ISBN 0-8028-2491-9.